It happened a long time ago. I was about 25 at the time. My friends and I decided to go on a trip somewhere abroad. We thought about it and chose Belarus. It's only a six hour drive by car. I, Marina, Kostya, Edik and Roma gathered and set off in the morning. It turned out that we had to go not six hours as expected, but eleven. There were big traffic jams and the road was very winding. In general, we came across some village. There was nothing to do, it was already nine o'clock in the evening, I had to stop somewhere. We saw a more or less decent house stopped, knocked. An old woman of about 80 years old opened the door to us, she was breathing right into the incense. We asked her, they say, let her in, grandmother, to spend the night, we will leave tomorrow morning. She thought for a long time then finally agreed. We sat down at the table in the kitchen and grandma went to get food. Marinka noticed with surprise in her absence, how is it, the grandmother is so old, old, and the house is perfectly clean. The guys answered her, maybe an employee comes to her, a relative of some kind. We ate and then grandma said, okay, go to your rooms, now Ksushenka will come to clean up. I thought well, here's the housekeeper, everything is clear. However, the thought flashed that 11 o'clock in the evening is somehow too late for a housekeeper. We went to the rooms. I'm in one room with Marinka, the three guys are in the other. Just as we were falling asleep, we heard the voice of an old woman, Kenya, Kenya, do not go into the rooms, we have guests. No, don't swear, they'll leave tomorrow. Kenya, don't. Stop it. Don't go there. I was afraid, I think now a hefty woman will burst into the room, she will arrange a scandal. Marina also woke up. We sit together on the beds, waiting. Then the door opens abruptly and... No one. And then Marinka began to scream loudly. I look and for no reason at all, she suddenly had scratches on her hand. The grandmother bursts into the room, screams, I shouldn't have let you in. Kenya does not like outsiders. We've always lived together. We ran out of the room, the guys were picked up, and this one is running after us, already scratching my leg. It hurt a lot. Then it grabbed Roma. He rolled down the stairs, writhing all over. We look, his whole chest is torn in blood. Then all four of us got on the rum, pushed the invisible Ksusha off him. She chewed our hands, resisted. Somehow we managed, ran out, or rather, flew out of the house. Eddie almost crawled around Ksusha bit his leg very badly, to the meat. We got into the car in a hurry and left for the other end of the village. There we stayed in the last house. The head of the family told us that her only daughter, Ksusha, lived in that house with the old woman all her life. Then Kenya died of cancer and the old woman remained. Since then, the ghost of Kenya comes to clean up to her mother, looks after her as before, and can't stand guests. The same thing happens to uninvited people as with us. Here is such a story that happened to us. We still have scars left as a souvenir from our loving daughter Kenya. I created the channel quite recently. Please write in the comments what I need to change in the video. Please support me by liking and subscribing to the channel.